Dave Gettleman and the Giants shocked the world, not with who they took, but when they took him for the first time in his career as an executive. The Giants GM elects to trade back not once, but twice. Uh, Gettleman and the G-Men now holding the Bears 2022 first rounder, along with a handful of other picks. As for the players, it's a couple of weapons, a couple of backers. Ryan, how do you grade the long game here for Gettleman? I gave him a B, and a B in the best sense of the word. They had fewer picks, as you note. They're going to get that extra first-round pick next year to allow the Bears to trade up uh, to get Justin Fields. But I love the idea of them being comfortable enough to trade down and still get Kadarius Toney, to get Danny Dimes some help, because that is what is desperately needed. They could have gone offensive line, could have gone edge, uh, linebacker, cornerback. Those are all needs, but I think Kadarius Toney has the explosiveness to be able to help early on. He's basically a running back once the ball is in his hands. He can help you on the short, the intermediate, the deep routes. He did it uh, week in and week out of Florida. And he's one of these names who came back and made himself some money uh, by doing so for Florida. Had a great week at Senior Bowl week. So I love the pick there. And they got a steal. And, and Pete Prisco talked about this earlier today with Aziz Ojolari, the edge rusher out of Georgia, who was a top 20 pick. But there were some medical concerns. If that clears itself up again you're getting a first round talent on day two and finally i'll mention aaron robinson the ucf slot corner who is a big strong get his hands on you physical cornerback who fits in perfectly for the style of play that you see in the nfc east and i i think like we said you have to address your needs the giants did that they got the extra first round pick next year and dave gettleman in a very un gettleman like way seems to have done all the right things so i applaud him and i applaud the giants organization I'm right there with you, Ryan. I give them a B plus. The only thing that keeps me from going A is that there wasn't an offensive line pick. But everywhere else, I didn't have an issue. I love that they were able to trade down and get that extra first round pick for 2022, which is going to be like gold, considering all the prospects are going to be out and eligible in next year's class. But Kadarius Tony is a guy that can put the ball in the paint. He reminds me a lot of Antonio Brown. You think about someone that can catch a short pass, take it a long way. He wasn't used in that regard at Florida, but that doesn't mean he can't do it. And he's going to one of the best wide receiver coaches in football, great football mind in tight Tober. He is a guy that has been excellent everywhere he's been and has done a great job in coaching up these wide receivers. There's a reason why we're talking about Darius Slayton and the growth he's made. Tyke Tobert has done a fun, fantastic job. And on the other side, they help out their special teams unit with Kadarius Tony, Thomas McGahee, one of the best special teams coordinators in football, will love a guy like Kadarius Tony because he can help him out in that regard. But defensively, getting edge rushers, Aziz Ojolari is a strong point of attack player, kind of like what they have in O'Shane Zeminis. Then you have on the other side a long athletic guy, Ellerson Smith, who at Northern Iowa was able to hold his own uh, and play well against Iowa State, went down to the Senior Bowl, did a great job. It's so now you compare him to a guy they already have in Lorenzo Carter. So he can provide that burst off the edge. He's lengthy, he's athletic, he can play both ends of defense. So I think they did a great job on both ends of football, helping out their football team as a whole. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment. that delivers everything that matters about the game. The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.